Oh, what a shot. 183. Carry? Yeah. Yeah. Club head speed, 87.6. Wow. Hi, golfers. Today's video is a deep dive on the lesson that I had with Marcus Bell, the founder of GRF Golf, formerly known as Zen Golf Mechanics. For anyone who has not seen what the guys at GRF do, they strip back your swing to its very core mechanics so that you as the golfer really understand where your power should come from. This lesson for me was genuinely one of the most eye-opening experiences I've had since I started playing golf. Within one lesson, I felt like I was swinging the club using different parts of my body than I'm used to, with less effort than I'm used to, and hitting the ball over 20% further. So if you're like me and struggle with tension in your swing, back pain, or just want to hit the ball a bit further, I'm sure the information in the lesson will be very valuable. Let's jump in. We'll get a few more um, seven a few more swings with your seven iron. Yep. Keep you warmed up, get, get some data, see what's going on with the ball fly and the club. And then we can start to create some kind of framework and explore. And then we'll pro do some profiling and find out where, what, how your body likes to move and how it, where it doesn't like to move. Cool. So some of these sound like they're coming off the bottom a little bit. Yeah. They Is are. that does that happen a bit? Uh, it does. It's like I said. I think particularly when I first start hitting balls, um, the strike's always obviously it's probably true for a lot of people. That's where it's at its worst. Yeah. Um, and then I tend to sort of feel it out a bit more as I either hit more or play more holes or whatever. But so we've got your stance there, left and right. Yeah, firing in that direction. So we can see the, where the pressure's being applied in the feet. See the overall pressure, the combined amount of pressure, the exact lo pre precise location of all this yep. is averaged here. So that's your centre of pressure. That's the combined centre of pressure. Okay, the cross. It, exactly. Yeah. And that's, the, that's the, essentially what we're going to be tracking. It's journey, side to side, front and back. We're going to look at the rotational component of it, which is that white line. So yep. we're going to see how the pressure has been, been used with the, here in terms of rotation. And we're going to see the amount of pressure you're creating, the vertical force. Okay. The amount of force that's been applied to the ground to that point. And we can see where you are anatomically here. So when you move, what's interesting is, I say when you move, you move, your pressure doesn't. <laughs> so that's hardly moving. <laughs> And you're already way, way into your backswing. Yeah. You're already, you're also flexing. Okay. So you're actually moving, if you look at your pressure, you're actually moving your pressure to the target, to your lead foot. As I turn. As you rotate back. Right. So if you were to look at that, you'd probably think, oh, it's really wound up, it's kind of... It ticks all the boxes, lots of rotation. But this is, this is kind of loaded into the floor. So you're actually, if we look on this graph, you're, you're actually, there is an unload here, but it's essentially, can you see where this plateaus? Yeah. And then you start to load here. When you get this part to this part of the swing, Essentially, it just plateaus. The pressure just kind of hangs around there. Okay. It's quite static, and you're moving quite a lot, and you're actually loading into the floor, and then you unload. Now. Yeah, okay. And then you start to load again, and then you unload. And you can see how the club is getting thrown past the hands. Yeah. Now, this is really interesting because hardly at any point has your pressure gone back towards the rear foot. <laughs> it never goes back, does it? <laughs> it's right. like a chip shot. Oh, really? Yeah, I suppose. It's like, you like playing a really low chip and run. Okay. But with a full swing. <laughs> right. And what it means is that your right leg really is not engaging with the ground. So you're not really applying much force with that right foot. It's always, it's kind of inactive because there's no, 
no pressure being applied through it. Right. So it's a bit, it's kind of a bit passive. Okay. There is tension in the system. Okay. There's tension in, in the body, but if we're not using the ground, so if you watch here, for example, when you swing back, there's not a lot of torque. Oh, there's, a, there's some at the top now. You've created some torque here. So you are creating some torque, but that pressure isn't really moving. So what we're lacking is we're, we're lacking this linear momentum, which essentially makes rotation so much more easier. So let me explain. This will be interesting because you might, I don't get any pain really playing golf apart from just above, like yeah, lower back, just yeah. above my right ass cheek. Yeah. And it'll get really stiff. And I wonder if this plays into it then. This is absolutely stressing out your lower back. Right. Okay. Because you're loaded when you should be unloaded. So it's like you're trying to rotate and you're loaded into the floor. Right. So when you unload, you push off the floor, yep. there's, there's no external force on the body. Yes. So now, so now, so you're coming off the ground. Yeah. So it's like an astronaut, okay? If you think in the air, there's the, what happens to those guys when they're in, they're in the air, they get muscle, muscle wastage because there's no force on the body. The body's like super soft, right? Well, we don't want to be to that. We don't want to be on that end of the scale. Yeah. But when you push off the ground now, it's, it's um, because you're unweighted, you haven't got this load through the joints, it's different because now you've not you've not got this um, load into the floor, which is essentially tensioning you. When you jump off the floor, yeah, changes the whole okay. I'm with you. Tension of the system, so you're free to move, yeah, as opposed to being loaded into the floor. Right, right. It's effort. Right. Now I've got to really think about arm rotating because I'm loaded into the floor. There's a tension. I'm going to explain how the tension restricts your movement. So if I take this and I pull that, okay, in order for this to stay there, I'm having to apply an equal and opposite force. Yep. So essentially now what I've done is I've just increased the tension here the same. Right, okay. To allow me to move. Yeah. Now imagine that's my hip. Yeah. And this is my shoulder. If I just think about rotating my shoulders, your hip doesn't go with it, okay? So your hip has to maintain its place in space, its position in space, so it tensions. But what you've just now is what you've just done now is you've just compromised what you can do with the hip because that's having to resist you rotating this. I'm with you. As opposed to, if I introduce lateral movement and then stop really quick, that can go through the momentum. Through the momentum, it's like a car. It's whiplash in a car. It's basically you, the car stops, people go forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got momentum and then you stop quick, and that can go. Okay, so you've got, you've got now this eccentric load through motion okay. as opposed to static and trying to force this thing and load it into the floor at the same time. <laughs> What's in the middle of all this is your lower back because essentially you're t you're, you're not, you are creating some torque but there's so much load into the floor you can't get it through the body because you're not pushing off. You need to push off to transfer it. Right. So I, it's not just this way, it's this way. As soon as, soon as I've got some momentum going up and I stop, I can transfer the energy through. If I don't, if I'm loaded into the floor, I've got to pull. With you, right? Okay. So now my body's tension, 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 and I'm wanting this thing to be free flowing. Yeah. I need it to be moving, and then it can just transfer through the system. Yeah. And I can rotate effortlessly. So now, the rotation of the body is much easier to make because it's just an, it's just essentially, with the force that's been applied, it's like. It just can flow through the system. So if you do a little, if I just do a do a mini jump, look at my shoulders. I'm not trying to do that. They shrug naturally. How, why? Because of the, the momentum I'm creating. Yeah. But if uh, but if I didn't create that momentum in my lower body, <laughs> I've got to pull them. That's a totally different way of shrugging my shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. So a coach says to you, "Well, you've got to shrug your shoulders." Right. Okay. Yeah, but you can shrug your shoulders by doing that. Yeah. As a reaction to everything else. Yeah. So to shrug my shoulders, what I'm really doing is I'm pushing off the ground with my toes. I don't even have to jump. What I need is I need these. Yes. To shrug my shoulders. So I need to flex and extend my hips quick. So if I flex those quick, I shrug my shoulders. What you're doing at the moment is you're doing this. <laughs> okay, as opposed to... Recruit another bit. Recruit, utilising the rest of the body to recruit this. Right. Right. 
And that's why you don't get that much vertical force. That's why there's hardly anything showing. So how, how high would you expect that line to be? I mean, I guess you don't know, do you? Because it's specific to each person. Exactly. What is a good little test? I'm just going to show you this. So I just showed you, essentially, if you look at that screen. Oh, OK. Wow. I'm up to 2,000. I mean, I'm way more than you, so I'm already at 1,000. You're 750. OK. But I'm getting from probably 1,000 there up to 2,250. I'm doubling. Easy. Yeah. By just doing that. Right, fucking hell. So if I did that in my golf swing, look where I am. Yeah. And notice, it, it, I unload, look at it drop. Watch this, there's a drop. So I unload first, and then I load. So you can oh, see, I, see. I unload. It goes down. And then I load, then unload. You plateau, you actually load when you should be unloading. So by unload, you mean? Pushing off the floor. You're in the air. Ish. Not pulling, pushing. Yes, okay. off your toes and balls of the feet. As yeah. you go back? You gotta, yeah, yes, to, to start your golf swing. Right, okay. If you throw a ball, you're not doing this. If you're doing this, you're going, you're on yeah. your tiptoes and you're light and you're going up. Then you load, Yeah. then you unload. Okay. So if I was throwing a ball, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. If I was kicking a ball, same thing. Punching, same thing. So you load, you start at fairly low, you start fairly loaded, you'll have a little load as well to push because you're going to be, you're going to be loading to push off. Because if I say jump, where do you go first? Down. It's jump. Yeah. So to, to push off, to go up, yeah. there's going to be a little flexion, extension, and then you get that. Now, then you can start to load and unload, and then you get the big, you get the big forces. So your body's having to do less. All this vertical force you're making up for with tension in. Right. Mus you're trying to, you're trying to use muscular force across these joints when actually you could just be transferring momentum, momentum through them. Right. And you're trying to have to, you're trying to, have to action your swing through these joints, whereas. It should be flowing. These, these shoulders are moving as a reaction to me doing this. Not big movements either. I'm getting quite a big movement here for a little movement there. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, it's the impulse. It's fast. It's high force, high, high, high speed over a small amount, small space, small range. Results in a big range. Big range here, yeah. smaller range here, yeah. but fast through it whoosh, creates a lot of speed and effortless. So it's kind of, you can start to feel the weight of the club and use the weight of the club. Yeah. You're getting feedback from the club while you're doing this. Yeah. You're not getting any feedback from the club. But just to give ourselves just a, a, an idea of where we can go, just hold your club like that, Lou. Okay. And all I want you to do is just shrug your shoulders up and just let the club, it's like a, a whip, but it throws your hands up in the air. That's it, there you go. But don't lose your grip. You can just let it drop. Nice, so that's yeah. a chain, that's lag. Now, we're gonna spring off the toes, okay? So, just want you to, for a second, just flex your hips like this. So think, just put your hands there on your groins. Just put your fingers there on your hip flexors. Yeah. Because people think of that as hips. This is hips here. Yeah. Now, just flex it, that's it. So point your belt buckle down to the ground. There you go, so now, the, the, the gap between your belly button and your belt buckles increased. So your pelvis has done this. Pelvis yeah. is tilted, anterior tilt. Now, keep your fingers there. You're gonna pop this, okay, but from your toes. There you go. That's, this is vertical force. <laughs> it's mad thinking about this, isn't it? Good. Now, put your, let your arms relax and just pop from the ground. And let your shoulders just go with it. Let them just, just sh do that for me, shrug them up and down. Good, now pop them with your toes. Perfect. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So these move later. Yeah. That's lag in a system. Further, further, yeah. So this is lag, this is a sequence just in, in the sagittal plane, vertical. Flex, flexion extension. We're gonna be doing this throughout the whole swing. Yeah. Okay. 
So these can react last. Yeah. Well, these react last, but this is the major, biggest joint that reacts last in the system. Yes. Yeah, I'm with you. Now pop on the pressure plate and see what happens. You don't need your club, just look. Yeah. Already creating double. Well, I mean, yeah, like you say, to get to that number you were at, it's not even that much effort, is it? Look at that, that's massive, by the way. Right. Now, you're not going to get that much, generally, because there's going to be more constraints swinging the club, but you've suddenly, that's, this is your power source. Now, if I wanted to throw my arms back... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like you say, you don't look at that. think about it, do you? Yeah, now, now you, this is what your rotation's for. Now your rotation is to swing your arms where you want and create some more, ten, more stretch recoil through the system. So see how high you can swing your arms up behind you by doing this. There you go. That's it, that's your backswing. Yeah. That actually feels nice on my back. <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah. It feels, it's a nice movement to make, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I enjoy is. this, it's nice. Yeah. It feels, feels liberating yeah. in terms of movement. And then when you've, now you can actually use the weight of the club. Just grab your club and try it. Yeah, just throw it up there. Use that spring. There we go. And let your pelvis rotate. The spring, that push off the ground will actually rotate your pelvis as well. It'll spring you, not just spring you, it rotates you as well with your feet. There we go. Because you, they're brilliant. Because you've already got torque in your swing, from, as in from the ground. Okay. You just can't get it through the body. Right. It's loaded into the, you load into the floor trying to do it. Right, right, Whereas right. this right. now allows you to use that rotational force and transfer it through. Go on again, just do a few of those where you're just feeling yourself spring off the floor. That's it, really rotate back. Let yourself throw it back high, nice and high. You can feel when you mess up the timing, can't you? Yeah. I mean, just, just have a look at this. Yeah. Just doing that on its own like creates that. Look at the load and then it's kind of already, you're starting to Almost. load into the floor and then extend to pop. Now your wrists react. So you... And you can see so that you, yellow line so you, going backwards. You, pardon? You can see that yellow line going backwards. Yeah. The center, it's a, that's, You've got lateral already. Yeah, that's Look, what you mean. It shifts to the side. Look. Yeah. I and mean, just look at the rotation you've got. So you've got this, all this rotation. Yeah. Got all that you've got there. So just by pushing off the ground. That's what you meant by it in the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, it's too shallow. Right. With you. You're not getting that compression because you can't get your handle far forward enough to get compression. Yeah. Because it starts rotating here. Right. But if you're if you're loading for longer and unloading later, it gives you more time. So you can be down here before you pop it. You can be there before you pop. So your handle's rotating in this space. Yep. Not in this space. Right. And then yeah. if this rotates early, you've got to hang on for dear life to control it. <laughs> yeah. And to control loft. Yeah. So we've got, to, we've got to be able to let this thing go. Now, what happens is when you drop, from when, what goes up can go down now. And when you drop, you're essentially just dropping into the floor and you're lowering your low point. I'm now this much below the ground. Yeah. With my low point, which gives me the opportunity to come up that much. To jump. Right. So the low point's coming up, but my club's still coming down, meeting the low point after the ball. So you're compressing the ball. So we've got to go up, and then we've got to get down yep. to be able to jump again. Right. But if I'm not going up and down, if I'm staying loaded in the floor all the time, I'm relying on torque, but I'm not, really be, I'm not able to use the torque from the ground. You're having to use your core rotation. It's spine rotation. That's what I'm doing. So you're, yeah, you're having to rotate your spine to get the big rotations. Yeah when the torque could be coming from the ground, and now, if you're not using the torque from the ground, you're rotating against the ground, your lower back's in the middle of this, because your thoracic's rotating, and your lumbar, which is a stable part of your spine, really, is being asked to rotate, Yeah. because this is not moving. With you. Whereas this moves, that allows your lumbar to move, that allows you then to, yeah. just like the, the band, you can transfer energy through the spine, this way. Yeah. You're transferring energy through the spine, that way. So you kind of, it's hard work. Yeah. We want it all going the same way. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah, with you. So, um, 
flexions and extensions with rotation is, is where we need to go. So um, we're going to get on the balance pads, we're going to look at some rotation and then we're going to get you on the board and then do some release pattern work. We've already got the pressure moving from side to side a bit. That's going to increase. Look at the pressure, look at how much your pressure is moving through your feet. Okay, the orange line tracing. Yeah, the that's from. showing it through the yeah through the feet. Interesting. It was nowhere near that before. Right. That's pressure moving through the foot this way rotates the ankle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when the pressure's so moving, when the pressure's moving, it rotates it. Right. If I don't rotate, if I don't get shift the pressure through the ankle, how do I rotate my ankle? I rotate it from my hip. Yes. Now I'm not using the foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just I'm, so I'm going further and further up the chain to get rotation. Whereas if I shift pressure through there, I've got the ankle, that rotates now, the knee can move. I've got joints contributing to energy. Yeah. Transfer, and now I can go with it. Yeah. This is going to be weird, because you're going to experience going up as the club goes down. Yeah. As opposed to at the moment, you're kind of down in flexion, hitting a golf ball. Yeah. And you're going to be actually springing off the floor as the club goes down. Okay. So you going up and the club going down is a different, it's a different feel. Right. Well, just um, stand with your legs straight for me and just roll from heel to toe, toe to heel, like that. But keep your knees straight, so it's your hips that are going to have to just it'll lift you a little bit. That's it. So it just elevates you. So you, your pressure goes that way and you go this way up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Brilliant. And now side to side. Just roll in the ankles, side to side. Good. Knees straight, so locked out. So it's just isolating your ankles, Luke. That's brilliant. Jesus, it's out of the look, isn't it? Yeah. And you look how much more your left moves to your, in, <laughs> in comparison to your right. But that, we've, you've got great movement. What we're going to recognise is um, the timing of how we recruit. Okay. So um, now uh, bend your knees and making some circles. And literally just letting your knees track over your toes and then let your legs straighten and then go back round again. So you're just rolling round the pressure pads with your feet, like clock faces. And then let's change direction. Okay, brilliant. Now, legs straight, just twist your hips. Keeping your knees straight. No shoulder rotation now. So what's it like just to twist your hips with no <laughs> no knees helping you and just isolate your hip. You, that's your spine, your lower back. And you, that's good, and your hips, good. Now, I'm going to make it a bit easier. Okay, bending your knees, just make a walking action for me. And now use that walking action to twist your belt buckle. That's it. And let yourself use the pads front to back, heel to toe. Awesome. Just step onto the press, onto the uh, mat for me there. Now feel feel what it's like to use the ground. To, does that feel different? Yeah. Christ, it feels more robust than it when you step off them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So the ground now provides that stability for you to use because you're the mobility. The ground's the stability. Yeah. You've you've been the stability as well. <laughs> <laughs> right. Whilst trying to be mobile, but now you're the mobility. Now, you can push from one foot to the other, from one, just to use the toes. That's it, you can let your heels just lift for this exercise. There you go, to let yourself rotate. Feel different? Yeah. On here. All I want you to do, Luke, is just, first of all, make a little jump. And where you felt yourself push off from, that's where you place them under your feet. Yep. Okay, cool. Now, just as we did earlier, we're going to feel that walking action. But in the middle of it, we're going to have a little drop. So it's a drop and pop. We drop and then pop, drop and pop. So there's a drop in the middle. And the pop gives you the extra force to, it's a spring to your accelerate. it's a spring, sorry, to your rotation. So you pop to wind, you pop to rotate, look at that, that's it, yeah look, you drop and then pop to twist, that's it, and then you do it the other way. So you need your right foot to help you pop to the left, right with you, and you need to push off your left to help you to the right, 
and you let, your, let your heels come off as well to push, spring off your toes a bit. So that right foot, we need to get that right foot engaged and start pushing off that right this way. Yeah, let, your help, let yourself push off your, off your toe. That's better, really push off it. Drop it, feel the pressure in the, just feel the pressure in that right pad. Now spring off it to rotate left, there you go. Right. Doesn't have to, it doesn't have to shift you that way and swing you that way, it's more up with twist. Yes, that's it. Right. So you're unloading. Brilliant. Fantastic. See how it throws the arms? Yeah. Different feeling? Yeah, never felt that on your right foot. So it's engagement here through the hips yeah. with the feet. Yeah, that's nice. So if you were to just do that on the pressure plate, so now just try that on the pressure plate, dropping and popping there. Springing off the toe, so let your heels, let your heel lift as you push off your toe. That's it, both ways. So you let your feet, you push off to rotate. Yeah, that's it. And again, back and forth, drop, pop, drop, pop. Look at that, up and down, up and down. Cool. So have a look here at what's, what's starting to happen. Is that, the, that, the shift across, the shift across. And look how you're using the feet. So you can see the pressure shifting just to allow you to make this movement. Yeah. Put that under your left foot and you're pushing off that one to squash that one. So we need to pop the pelvis a bit more. That's it. Yes. Now look, look at that as opposed to just do what you just did a minute ago. <laughs> yeah. It's massive, isn't it? It's night and day, really. Well, look at your arms reacting. Yeah. Look how your arms react now. Look at that. They get thrown. Whereas if you just do it before with just the pelvis and just rotate, they're reacting, but you've got to physically start swinging those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got to create that swing from somewhere further up. So it's the origin of this power source, if you like. Um, so we're in a great place to jump on here. We've got to load the hips a bit. So start on your left, start tall, straight, twist your feet to the left of that basket, both feet. So this heel might be off the floor, that's it. So we're just loading the hip. Yeah, yeah. Feel now that. keep your feet pointing at the basket and drop to your right. Both knees bend. So just twist, stick your bum out, but that's it. So you load yep. this now. Yeah. So feel like it's sticking out side the ankle, not the knee. So feel like you shift. That's it. Okay. Turn your foot in a bit more. Try not to think of a golf swing. Yeah. Now the hips loaded. We've got the platform here. That's down. Now stay on your right and just pop up. Pop up with your pelvis. Watch. Straight up, spring up. Yeah, a combination of the two. Good. And just stay on that right side and just practice going up and down. Twist in to go down. Both legs, you can spring. Even though your weight's here, you can still, you're still push using some push off that. That's it. Good. That's internally extending, rotating the hip. Flexion, extension. Cool, now stay there and drop to your left. And spring up and down here. Twist in first. You might not even need to get to the basket, just spring up. Good. And then drop in, spring up. Don't have to be laying as far left. More with the hip. You can stay this way yeah. with your body. Both and then spring up. That's it. Yeah. It's all through here. Think of it through here. Think of this just there at the front of your hips. Yeah. There. Just put your hands not on your hips there, just put on the front there. And it's this that's flexing and extending, dropping and popping the front of your pelt. There you don't rotate. So your rotation comes for free. If you do this, now drop into your left. Now, just spring up. Good. You'll naturally want to rotate. So you don't have to try and, that's it, drop. Now spring up. Good. You'll start to rotate. Good. Right. Good. Snap the leg straight. Yeah, point the toe down. So you point the toe down through the ankle, because that is your spring, you see. It's 
That's getting that leg the straight. Ankles, the ankle is the spring. That's it. Brilliant. That's it. Well done. Yeah. Okay. So when you go back on that, try that now with the under the ball of the foot and the heel, and just feel that load in there with your hip. Your hips will load it, and then you can spring out with the foot. But really, you can start to really feel yourself spring into your finish. Yeah. Okay. It'll throw you into your finish. That's it. Let yourself follow through into a finish. Nice. Brilliant. So you know when you see the feet sliding, yeah. it's sliding as a reaction. That's not part of the movement. Yeah. It's, it's actually, you've used the foot and now the body's moving and that, that's reacting to the body movement now. So after the event, yeah, yeah, you've already gone. Sometimes it might move, sometimes not. It's not essential. It just shows what's happening. Different feeling. Yeah. It's awesome. Now put that pad back to here. Nice. Awesome. Now drop and pop on the way back to throw your arms up. <laughs> nice. mm, that's now that's the challenge. Okay, so absolutely perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's a weird starting move, isn't it? But it sort of makes this sense. This is why you see forward presses. Yeah. You're really creating a counter move. Priming this. So when you take the discs off, you can even put the pressure domes on the board, but if you want to, just to give you a bit of feedback, so you can drop, so you drop, that tips the board, you pop, swings you, swings your club, and then drop, pop. Okay. I guess the, uh the secret is to just not think about the club, right? Just Yeah, just let that react to you. Hmm. So I'd get the thing mo in motion first. I'm just going to move you over here a bit more, just one sec. Remember, it's all where we were touching the hips here. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Cool. Good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Grip tighter. Grip. That's it. You've got to keep a firm grip because the movement's coming through your hips. Not you. You don't need to loose. You don't need to loosen your grip because now you've got a flow of energy. Yeah. If you're struggling to get momentum to the club, that's when people have to excessively loosen the grip to try and let the club swing. You don't need to do that because your joints are moving. Yeah, yeah. So you can grip tighter. Okay. Which is what we're supposed to, we're supposed to keep a firm grip on the club, which lets you now use your hips, drop and pop it a bit more with your hips up and down. Good. Now down with the hip. There we go, and then you can feel the pop. Good. Nice. There you go. Now more rotation on the way back. You can stand up to rotate more now, to throw it up. That's it. Nice. Yes. Feel the drop? Yeah. Use the drop, just explore it, enjoy dropping. To, let's see how late you can pop. And the late pop snaps the club late. Yeah. Right. Okay. If you do that on the pressure plate now, that was awesome. Just do that on the plate. Back and forth. Throwing it up with the pop. So drop and pop on the way back. Nice. Oh. And again, keep going. Feel how late you can unwind. You're actually winding up as you go down. Can you feel that? Yeah. Look at that. So look at this here, Luke. It's this when you talk about moving your body in two different directions. This is what you're doing, which creates a natural stretch through the body. You don't have to create that stretch artific artificially. Yeah. So you're unloading to then load and then unload. I mean, that's so powerful. Yeah, it's All a lot right. better than before. You might not, you, what you'll find with the golf ball, you're not going to go as far as that with your shift. This is how you're experiencing at the moment, but it's so much late. Look what your hands are. Yeah. Look at that release. Look at this shift. Your golf swing's just not, look where you, look where you are now at the top of your swing. Pressure's over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to here. So we've not talked about
trying to get into any kind of movement there, but you're 72% back. And you've got talk. So you're in a great place to now load. Look at that drop. Yep. And look, suddenly pressure's over on the left. Ready to pop. Yeah, body does it automatic. Even look at that, you're loading. Look how much torque you've got now in the in the you've reversed it. Yeah. And now you can pop. Look how late that golf club is coming. And look where your hands are. I mean that's like a it's strong. Now the amount you're shifting and popping and dropping and all that stuff, this is going to start to come out in the wash yeah. in terms of refinement. It's going to start through hitting golf balls. You're going to find, oh, that's way too much. I hit in top of the ball. I hit, I hit it fat. Yeah. That's too much drive. Or, or that, oh, I need to pop up. I'm missing my pop. Yeah. You can start to recognize yeah. the timings. But what you're actually doing is you that movement there, this is the goal. Now that. <laughs> Where it, where it all goes down. Yeah, but your club isn't. Look, your club's still going back. Here, okay, you, yeah, this? yeah. You're start, you. Watch this. You. You're starting to drop and the club's still going back. Yeah. That's the, you've got body working in two different directions. Yes. You've now got this going back as That's you're going you're, forward. That's what you're going about with the Stretching, thing. yeah. Yeah, right. With you. Without thinking, just because you're shifting. Yeah. You're creating stretch. Yeah, because that's pure momentum. There's, there's no, exactly. There's nothing restricting it, is there? If you add tension to try and control this, you don't get this reaction. Yeah, yeah. Everything starts to move as a block. Right. Now you can't fire the sequence. You've lost the sequence in the downswing. Yeah. Now you've got to go to the end of the chain to release to get some speed because you can't fire it through the body. So you're using the body like a whip. But you've, you, you've just not had that separation because you couldn't. Look at how much force you need. Yeah. You need to be up here. You need to be unloading and then loading to do this. Look at that impact. I mean, that's like... Get anywhere near that, it's um, it's like gold. It's a game changer. But I mean that already. I mean that's that's phenomenal. I want to see a few shots. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. haywire to start with. Well done. So just let me show you this before we move on. Look at this, look at your graph. So now you've got an unload as you're going up. Now you can, you're just not dropping, you're just, you're just unwinding. You're okay. Revert back to what I was doing. This is much better. I mean, look what you're getting up here now, look. Yeah. So obviously, so now you're getting up to 1,000, 1,000. 377 so it's a lot more but the problem is you've already used the action you need it's already gone so you've got this load here and you've already shifted and externally rotated that femur needs to be in so your femur needs to be internally rotated not externally rotated so let's I'm going to show you an exercise this cool. is the golden one for you yeah <clears throat> You're gonna do a little step drill, feet together, get swing in, and feel that spring to throw the club up. And as it, that's throwing, throw your arms and club up, yeah? And, and it, it, it accelerates the rotation. So essentially, this push off really amplifies the angular momentum. So you can really rotate and go up with it. Okay. But then what you do then is, Lou, when you get up here, as you're going up, now you're gonna take a step. Okay. But you step by twisting your foot in. So you can see there's a, there's a drop and pop. Yeah. Okay. I want you to twist your foot in like you did yeah. on there to like, say, one o'clock. Okay. Then you spring. Okay. And it'll turn, obviously, as you spring. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get that. Okay, so just try that for me. Feet together and then don't have to take a big step, just a comfortable step, but it's the twisting of the foot in as you fall into it. So you're, so you're falling passively into the floor. So your yeah. drop has got to be more, it's got to be a quicker 
and then drop, you've got to really sit into your hip. Then but your foot's you've got to twist in. Twist the foot in more. That foot's got to be, yes, now drop. Wow. Yes. Okay, okay. That's the place you're going to be falling. <laughs> yeah, and then you'll spring off your toes. Yeah, yeah. Into okay. a finish. Well done. Too early. Good, but too early. Drop for longer. Nice. And again, you'll find the right timing for that impulse. Good. Nice. So look at what's happening. Just a bit early with your rotation. Then you start to make a change. Look at this. Look at that. Okay. Look where you're getting to now. Yeah. Unload, load, unload. Yeah. Bang on. Look at your look at your swing on the way back. There's a bit of a the, pop, the drop and pop on the way back. It's just it's a smaller version of the yeah the downswing. Then look, there's an unload now here, and it takes a bit takes a bit longer and then look at that now you can spring you're at the top you've got 1,500 1,543 so you've doubled yeah now look how fast you unload because you've got the internally rotated spring mechanism to just whoosh, go that way yeah, yeah. and then Look, you can spring, watch your left leg, you can push off your toe, probably a bit more off the toe. Your club's still back here and you're fully unloaded. So you're getting all this load, there's an opportunity to get it through the body. Because you're rotating more efficient, look, your hips have gone, your chest's still pointing over here. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, you're getting more stretch, you're getting stretch from everywhere. It's like, you, you just, you just, wherever you want to go, you're getting stretch. Okay, because you've separated the segments. Yeah. As soon as you move one segment, you're getting stretched throughout all the connections. And then it's not just that, it's the segment above that and the segment above that. Yeah. It's like you're just getting stretch after stretch after stretch everywhere. That lags each other. Lag after lag after lag. Yeah, okay. And that's time lags too. So you're just feeling more time, gives you more sense of where you are orientationally. So yeah. it's kind of, yeah. then you can just let go. Yeah. You've already let go here and now you release a lot and then your hands look forward. Look at your impact. Yeah. So where you felt you, when you looked earlier at that big shift, what you've actually got now, look, it's all kind of firmed up. Yeah. So that took you into more shift, but then as soon as this exercise suddenly gets you back more vertical, spring loads, and you end up with a much more stable looking impact release, look, and it all rotates, and then you finish. And look at this, what you're using. Yeah, it's a lot more active, oh, that, isn't it? It's, 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 you're actually, your body's engaged in swinging a golf club. Yeah, yeah. Sharp. Different feel? Yeah, like, the overwhelming, like, surprise is that I'm actually hitting the ball. I can't <laughs> yeah. believe I'm hitting the ball. I'm not even thinking about the ball. Like I said, the, the subconscious joins all the dots together. That will piece it all together because you're moving in more of an advantageous way for your body to actually use yeah. more optimal mechanics. So it's like you're just putting yourself in the right ballpark and the body will sort out the specifics. Yeah, it's mad. So like, just let it, you got, this is where you have to trust your body. You can appreciate where you've been. You've not trusted your body. Yeah. You've been using tensioning because you've had to essentially not trust letting go because you couldn't really. But now you've got to start, now you're going to learn to put trust in your body and let go. That means you can have your mind somewhere else. Because when you can't trust your body, your mind's got to be on your swing. So now I've got to tension and I'm controlling, I'm focused, I'm focused, I'm immersed in my swing and that's, I'm engaged mentally. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a high cognitive load. You want to be focused on where you're going. Let this get. Let this. Just trust your body to do it. Yeah. So this is the the this is the uh, the conduit into that state. Fantastic. So you're not going to get that excessive rotation that you'd feel through the exercise because suddenly you've got all the rotation of the body. Yeah. So it's coming even later. You see. So that rotation is actually needed because it's going to be so much later. You're going to need it later. Yeah. Yeah.
nearly. So it's getting comfortable at the beginning. So just paddle the feet a little bit, get the feet interactive. Yeah. Because look what happens, look what happens when you paddle your feet, look. Look at the pressure. Yeah. If you stand static, it's there. Yeah. In the middle, it just stays there. And then you've got to move excessively and it moves really slow and you've got to do a lot to move it. Just do that and your body's getting used to shifting pressure, getting ready, priming the system. And feel the feel the drop and pop. Nice, well yeah. done. That was awesome. Nearly. So you just missed. Let me show you that one. No big disaster, but see how it plateaued at the oh, top. Yeah. Okay. So just not getting the shift back at the minute. Can you see how you you're almost going straight into this place? Uh, okay. So there's I'm not doing that. I'm so I'm not just falling into it. You're not no. And then I mean this is this is awesome. Look at your own, look at your push off now. Watch this. Look at your pushing off and unwinding. It's yeah. just it's too early. I mean that. You can see. Yeah, yeah. How it pushes, knee goes, hip goes, rib cage goes. Watch this. Look at that. Yeah. But you're getting the early release, hence the hook, because you missed, because it's happening too early, because you went straight there and it's just too early. So it's Yeah. That's why then you go back on the board and what you missed, you're doing this. Instead of. Yes. You're just missing the backswing phase. It's that bit I'm missing, isn't it? It's the backswing first. You need to drop and pop it. You need to throw it up in the air. You need to rock the board and stand up to throw it. So a bit more. Up. Yeah. Keep your grip pressure. It's coming from the, remember it's through here, Luke. You pop in to throw the club up. Yes. As if you're throwing it up behind you, high. There you go. Then you, that was it. Yeah. It's giving yourself time. Exactly. Give yourself your time. Like, that, like gives you, that gives you the time. Yeah. What are you you're rushing for? Here, then you fall. Yeah. Otherwise, you're used to being, not moving off the ball much, and here, and here, and it's all over pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. This is going to take an age. Yeah. Compared to what you used to do. But it gives you, that's it, it gives you time to move. Lovely. Now, have a few little swings where you then drop and pop using the right foot to swing it back. Yeah, and then introduce just the drop. Without, you'd have to swing down, you can just feel, so you'd be here, and then just feel the drop. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, foot. Yeah, you got to go foot first. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. So you're feeling where you're going to be spatially during these phases. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now, feel that. Then spring. I would just spend. I just hold that place just for a second. So you'll be. You'll do this. Feel it. Then spring. Give yourself just a split second in that space to feel that. That spring load. Feel the spring, now spring. Yes. Okay. Would you use the drill to hit shots? You can do, but I'd just swing normally first, just see what effect that has, just on your normal kind of swings to your finish. So your spring will take you to your finish. What a shot. Well done. Yeah. What do you normally carry that? Like I say on a course, I mean, I mean when we were, Warming up, it, I don't even think I was getting to that 150. In my head, it's around 150, 150. So that was 169.8, that's 170. Yeah, I mean, not that. Just want to show it, George. I'll, uh... Oh, hang on, it's loading again. Oh, what a shot. 183. Carry? Yeah. Yeah. Club head speed, 87.6. Wow. Your club head speed started at 82.7. Yeah, that's where 82, 82, 82 would be. You've gone up five mile an hour. It, I mean, it's bizarre, isn't it? But that's not surprising because you've up, you've let, you've increased your vertical load. Yeah. Your peak vertical went from like a thousand and eighty six to one, over one thousand five hundred. Yeah. So you've increased it by fifty percent. 
sent more. And I assume on the shots where I'm actually hitting a ball, it's probably not even that high. No, it could be, no, exactly. One seven eight point eight. What's interesting is your face impact. It's got it's, it's going up the face, the strike. Ah, uh, okay. Can you so before? That's fire because up, of the lag, watch, right? watch. Yeah, look at this. Before you're off the bottom. Yeah. Look at them, all of them. Yeah. All off the bottom. First shot, second shot. When I was measuring third shot at the beginning. Look, look how low that is off. The, they were back. They were miss hits. That was a bit high off the face. Now you're starting to get, look, last yeah. two shots. Okay. 169.8, 183. Striking higher up the face. Dynamic loft's gone up a bit and your, your club head speed's gone up. So, because you're basically, you're coming in like that. Yeah. But you're coming in like that as you're actually going up. Right. You're not trying to go down and hold it. Yeah. You're actually going up and popping. But because you went forward and spring, as you're going up now, that's still de-lofting. Yeah. It's all these things that you hear coaches talk about, isn't it? Where, the, where we're on, like we are on about earlier, you, you're thinking about the wrong things in order to achieve those things. You don't get shaffling by thinking of shaffling. No. All these things we've not talked about and they just come as a byproduct of, doing of the, the right function. Things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Born out of function. Very good. Awesome. You let yourself go then. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's big. Fantastic. 173. I mean, that's plenty, isn't it? Yeah. With a seven iron. 85.6. Club head speed. Yes. Nice shot. shot. What a golf shot. That's giving yourself license to shift. Yeah. Off the ball, shift and lift. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Right, here we go, a couple more. Let's just go to a slightly longer club. Something like that. <laughs> Ornamental, this bastard. <laughs> so how would, you, how would you structure, say, a practice session then? So, what we've just done there, but what you'd start off with yeah. is uh, also I'd introduce driver. I'd yeah. be intermittently in driver every half dozen shots, hit two or three drivers because you'll really start to feel it. Yeah. Go on the board, get some real movement, get on, on the pressure pads, just the pressure domes. Um, start off just warming up, do some exercises. Yeah. Start If you've got pressure pads there, you can just do some exercises, get the, get the body primed so you're stimulating that. You're prepping the, the body. Yeah. And then um, get the neuromuscular system ready. Get the body aware of where it's going to be going. Do some exercises. Do some drills. Now it's some shots. Yeah. Now it's some shots. Now start to react to the outcome and react to your feelings. So you're, you're becoming more in, in tune with how you're feeling and what you're seeing, yeah. which is what you want to be. You're training for that on the golf course, not just going through a set set battery of exercises every time. Which means when you go on the golf course, I'm, I've got some feeling, but I'm not really regulating this myself. I'm just doing some exercises, getting a feeling, but it's on or off. Yeah, yeah. Here, there, you were, you were like, I've got the move. I mean, you did the step drill, then yeah. you got, then you got the movement. You were getting there, yeah. but now your your release wasn't there. You couldn't square the face. Yeah. So then you, I just need to square the face. Yeah. So you did a couple of those. Suddenly, square the face up with the movement of the body. Yeah. Hit a few shots, see what's going on. Change clubs if it's going really well. I'm going to go with the driver. Change clubs if it's going well. Don't stick with the same club. Start to change clubs. Yeah. Change shots a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. if you start to, if it goes off, go back, get your drills. Now, what's the, what do I need to do for this particular shot? If I don't want to hit it lower, higher, you start to adapt the exercises. Yeah. But where you're at the minute, this kind of foundation level where we're building yeah. is kind of you're basically self-diagnosing in the moment and just a bit of this drill, yeah. a bit of that. You yeah, don't need yeah. to be. I'm not popping. Let's go back to that drill. It's 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 you 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 you're baking something, okay, and you're just tasting it. Oh, it needs a bit more of this. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit. Oh, I need some more of this. I need some more of that. That's all it is. Okay. And then you get the taste right. Or a curry or whatever it is you're making, you just need. I need a bit more of this. I need a bit more of that. Yeah. And that's and your practice sessions getting you to that sweet spot. And it's like, oh yeah, I can feel it now. Spend some time in that place. Yeah. Go back to your exercises. Oh, I just want to keep refreshing that. This is really good. And start to just recognise the feelings it's generating. Yeah. Sound. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Not really good, mate. Brilliant, mate. Thanks a I lot. Really Cheers, it. Luke. That I was really awesome. Thanks, mate. Well done. Big change in your movement. Massive. 183 yards, seven iron. Yeah. <laughs>
Right, so we finished up with the lesson with Marcus. Uh, well, we've done about what three and a bit hours, mate. Yeah, three and a half hours, I reckon. So there's no excuses. He's vlogging you to death. He's got his in because it's cold. George, poor George, has been stood still for the entire time, and he's not dressed for the occasion. Bless him. But we're going to do a quick one-hole match down the sixth, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So par four. Me up first. Winter tees, three six five, just a bit forward. Let's see how we go. Let's go see if it works. That's it. Should have give you the tops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Bit of a push, it's all right. Is that the next fairway? Yeah, you're all right. <laughs> good start, good start. Oh, no. I've just oh. stuck completely spun out of that. No, it's all right. Between us, mate, we've got a dead straight drive. <laughs> George, George is the one who's going to hit it straight. <laughs> Oh, it means business. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled at all times, everyone. Loves to tease the crowd, he's just building it up. <laughs> Look, here we go. <laughs> oh. Always with me. Where? I can't see it. Left, going left. Oh. Where it? Ten oh, fairway. Where? Tell me when. Keep going. Keep, Keep going. going. A bit more. Now. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Eight iron and hand, is it? Eight iron and hand. We think we've got about 160, 155. 160. We can't actually see the green or the flag here. So we're just going to give it a good old... Trusting that it's straight over that tree, 160-ish. A good old welly. I'll tell you what. Could be good. Could be very, very good, that, Luke. Could be. George is going to get a job if as it, a caddy here. If, it, if it's not, it's down to my caddy <laughs> and not your execution. <laughs> <laughs> Got pitching wedge. Pitching wedge. So see if we can carve it out of, of this. I think it's about what playing like 130 this I think. Yeah. Oh go go go. Bit short in it. Way short. Lost my balance a bit. Never mind. Tough shot this mate. They are 90% air. I have a habit of finding that tenth. <laughs> Nice That's it, it's the Tommy Fleetwood swing. Yeah. Oh, he's played one. Not well done. Sight of it, but... ah, it looked a brilliant shot, mate. Down to the business end. Can't say anyone's played this we're particularly gonna have, well. We're gonna have to, it's one of those, it's not how, but how many. <laughs> this hole. <laughs> That's a good shot. It's a great shot. Well played. Go in. Get Go in. in. <laughs> Get in there. That's what he teaches. <laughs> there you go. Easy three. Easy three. Get him back on that. <laughs> wow. Pressure on Seve, now, Seve, then. Seve golf. Like a three on that. Written all over it, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's have a, so a bit of billiards, just see if you can knock that in. Left side of the pin. Yeah. Or just squeeze it in the right side of the pin. Let's fill it up. Run. Nice, go, 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 go. No, not enough. Summertime, but that would have been perfect. Yeah, not enough. I'll just remove that obstruction. <laughs> just to make it official. <laughs> thank you, thank you. After the excuses <laughs> as well. I can't believe it. No, great shot. Come on, knock it in, Luke. Great shot. Ah, thinned. Ooh. Awful shot. Well, this is to this is to match, isn't it? Luke gets three shots on this hole, I think. <laughs> I think I need about three. Oh, don't run away too much. I'll give you that one, Luke. They look like they were going to be really slow. I'll give you that one. Go on, nice then. Go on then. Go on then. Oh, I'm looking, George. Mate. Criminal. Oh, I'll give you that one, Luke. Come That's on. very kind. Let's not be silly about this. I still can't get it in, mate. I still can't get it in. Cheers, guys. Cheers, George. Thanks well very done. much. Great shot. Cheers, Luke. Well done, mate. Well done, Brilliant. Appreciate it. Nice one. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time. <laughs>